Spring has sprung, the birds are chirping, the drunks are driving, and I'm out here in lovely Portland, Oregon, just exploring the scenery. Hmm. Hey, this is Bug, and if you live in the Northern Hemisphere, the best hemisphere, if you ask me, no one, no one did. Then riding season is upon us, my friends. If you haven't dusted off the old scooter yet and taken her out for a ride, now's the time. At least it is in lovely Portland, Oregon, where spring has arrived and the weather is guaranteed to be beautiful for at least the next 45 minutes. Then all hell's gonna break loose. If it's been a long, hard winter for you like it has been for me, you might have forgotten a thing or two about riding. So I'm here to give you some nice, friendly reminders. The first thing I want to remind you is, drivers still suck. I was driving down the road the other day, and no shit, there was a woman going past me playing a harmonica. She was driving, playing a harmonica. After I put my trombone down, I was like, hey, are you going to seriously drive around playing the harmonica? And she was like, yeah, I, I am seriously doing that. So I said, okay. Mm -hmm. Started playing my trombone again and drove away. I don't know. <clears throat> now, I'm not saying I expected things to change over the winter and all of a sudden drivers were going to be, you know, competent or anything like that. But I think things are getting worse. Now that the pandemic is over, the pandemic, I don't know. Don't, I'm going to, I'll let it that part out. Now that the pandemic is over, I think people are feeling this sense of freedom to get out in the road and drive like people who don't have COVID, I guess. I don't know. But I'm, well, all I'm saying is, why can't you slow down and be human beings? Why do you have to suck so bad? Why do you have to drive like that? Now that everyone's on the Instagram and the TikToks and the Ollie Boo Boos and all that stuff, I think the whole texting and driving thing is getting a lot worse as well. I, I, the things I see when I ride down the road, it, it, it's mind-boggling, if I'm being honest. The other day I saw three people in a car. The driver, the passenger, and someone in the back seat. And they were all on their phones. Each and every one of them. It was bizarre, and it made me ragey. I got ragey. You don't want to see Bug Ragey. I don't know. There's like a sheriff's office over there or something, and they're kind of looking at me. I'm going to go. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. It was the other guy. Rug, I think his name is Rug. Yeah, Rug. So the next thing you're going to want to think about is making sure your bike's prepared. You know, a long, hard winter can take its toll on your scooter, so you're going to want to make sure you check a few things before you hit the open road. First and foremost, check that oil. I check mine at least once a year. Yeah, I know, it seems obsessive. But, yet I want to keep this baby in tip-top shape, so when I have to recycle it... The next thing you're going to want to do is check your battery. How do you check your battery, you say? I have no f***ing idea. But, you know, my thing has a thing on the thing that says your battery is dead because you ran it out 16 times because you keep leaving the friggin' ignition on, so it's time to get a new battery. Your mileage may vary. I don't know if you have that same system. I, I, I guess I'm just lucky. Check your battery. I don't know. Is it starting? Do you have a battery tender that you can throw it on and give it a little trickle? Do that, you'll be fine. I don't know. You're also going to want to check your tires. Those are reasonably important items to check. Because they're what touch the ground, right? And keep you from, I don't know, how do you say, dying and stuff. So check those tires. Make sure they're inflated correctly. You'll find the um, proper inflation numbers somewhere. I don't know. They're, they're there somewhere. Maybe in, in your book. I don't know. You'll find it. You're also going to want to check the tread on your tires to make sure that there is tread on your tires. 
there's some sort of rule where you take a nickel and stick it in there and if John F. Kennedy's head pokes out, that joke almost went too far. Okay, your brakes. Now I know my brakes are working because every time I use them, they squeak like a stuck pig. So I've, I've got no problem with my brakes. I know that they're there, I know that they're working. How do you check your own brakes? Take it into a shop and have them look at it. I don't know. If, if when you squeeze things and you stop, you're probably in good shape. Lastly, on this front, you're gonna wanna check your lights. Now, I have a special feature on my Vespa. My light flickers like this, if the switch isn't perfectly aligned, like this thing, this stupid thing right here. If that isn't perfectly aligned, my lights flicker every time I look to the left or hit a child. If you're having the same problem, have that addressed. Also, check your blinkers, check your brake lights. Make sure all that stuff is working before you go out on your first ride. That's all I'm saying. I just tried to shift, so I got that going for me. Now the next thing you're gonna to wanna to think about is proper attire, dressing for success, I like to call it. Really, it comes down to, do you have a jacket that's gonna protect you? Do you have a helmet that isn't like 16 years old and crushed already? You got gloves, gloves are the most important thing. Well, they're not, but they're right up there with important things. Just because the sun is out, that's what, that thing up there, I've seen it before. Just because the sun is out doesn't mean it's time to break out the flip-flops and shorts and go for a ride. No, don't ride in shorts and flip-flops. Come on, have some common sense, people. Put on some pants, put on a nice jacket, put on some gloves, and put on a good helmet. You'll be all set. You're not, you know, you're not racing MotoGP over here. You're just going down to the store to get some Bisquick. You don't have to overdo it. I mean, I'm wearing an airbag vest, so. Don't take any advice from me. Just put a jacket on and some gloves and a helmet. Shoes would be nice. You know, over the long winter, your driving skills can go right down the old pooper. So now's a good time to sit back and think about all of the stuff that you've learned from this channel when it comes to riding safety, like, like, um, what was that? Um, well, there was that one episode where I did the... So now's a good time to watch someone else remind you about riding safety. Remember, you're always invisible. No one can see you. Everybody's drunk and stupid. Um, that's really all you have to know. No one can see you and everyone's drunk and stupid. Those are rules to live by. Not just for riding. I take that everywhere. You ever been to the grocery store? I mean, if you want to see some drunk, stupid people, that's, that's where you gotta go, Safeway. My point here is, don't forget all the stuff you know about riding just because it's your first time out for the year and you wanna air the thing out. Take it easy, will ya? I need every one of my subscribers, you know? If they start dropping off, then how am I gonna become a big YouTube star? What, I already am? Thanks, really appreciate that, my loyal viewer. Lastly, I have both some advice and a big announcement. My advice is, think about upping your game when it comes to getting out and meeting folks on your scooter. Joining clubs, finding folks online to ride with. You know, I'm a loner and I love riding alone, but sometimes it's nice to, you know, have a little bit of company, right? So I'm part of a couple of scooter clubs here in town and it's a blast and these people are fantastic. There is a small problem though that I'm trying to address. Go ahead. The invitation's in the mail, I, I promise you. The issue that I'm having is the following. As you may or may not know, I'm not much of a drinker. I do not partake in the alcohol. I used to, um, but um, you know, I don't anymore. It's not as much of a lifestyle choice as it's like, you know, doctor saying, hey, you know, that that drinking thing, you shouldn't do that because, um, your liver looks like a friggin' cheesecloth. I'm like, oh, that's probably bad, right? He's like, yeah, that's not awesome. He's like, yeah, I've never seen it. Uh, or whatever, that's a whole different story. Anyway, my point there is, I don't drink. 
I don't have anything against drinking at all. I really don't. But a lot of scooter activity revolves around drinking. Rides tend to start at a bar, they end at a bar, and you know, there are some rides that just go from bar to bar to bar to bar. If that's what you're into, I say go for it. I have no, no problem with your lifestyle choices. All I'm saying is, it gets a little old after a while for someone who doesn't drink, right? And I'm kind of thinking, okay, I can't be the only one out there who just kind of gets bored with the whole drinking scene and just wants to do something different, right? I don't know, maybe, maybe I am the only one. And at the same time, I love bars, and I love my non-alcoholic brews. I sure do. I'm a Budweiser 0.0 fan. There ever was one. I don't know. Has there ever been one? Probably not. I'm just gonna go. Because I don't know. So, I'm starting a new club. It's gonna be called The Dry Runners. Yeah, it's clever, right? We're gonna be The Dry Runners, and we're gonna have chapters all over this bitch. Well, we're gonna start in Portland. Really, it's just gonna be me. None of this matters. Anyway, dry runners, if you're in Portland, or the air, what are you doing? What exactly the f are you doing? <laughs> if you're in Portland, and you wanna join the newest, hottest club on the scene, the dry runners, you just let me know. You can, you can leave a comment. You can send me a DM. You can find my email down in the basement down there. Send me a note. Let me know if it's something you'd be interested in doing. Again, this has nothing to do at all with not liking other clubs or anything like that. I, I love the other clubs. As a matter of fact, I should be at one right now. I missed it. Yeah. Pizza night. God damn it. I totally forgot. Anyway, nothing against any of the other clubs. I love them. I'm just saying that for me, I just I want something different sometimes. Now, the point of this club is going to be this. It's not going to be focused on alcohol. It's going to be focused on riding non-alcoholic brews. Sure, we may even have a home bar. I have one in mind. If you're from Portland, it's the Horse Brass. Just, just throwing it out there. Because they've apparently got an extensive menu of non-alcoholic beers. If you want to hang out and come with us, and have a regular beer, I don't care. Like, again, this is not anti-alcohol. This is not anti-other clubs or anything like that. This is just something to make people like myself feel a little bit more comfortable and a little less bored, I guess, with the whole thing. Because I really am just kind of bored of the drinking scene. Like, I did that. I did that. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I did that. Let me just say, I, let's just say I did that. That's what I'm saying. Dry Runners. I've got a logo. We're gonna have t-shirts. We're gonna have... I'm not gonna have any other shit, but all I'm saying is, I think it'd be kind of fun if you'd like to join in. <clears throat> or, now, here's where it gets exciting. Say you're not in Portland, but you're somewhere else. Would you like to start a sister chapter? Or something. I don't know what you call it. Do you want to... Take the name is what I'm saying. Use the name. Maybe we can make this like a national movement of... I don't know. It's going to be a, some sort of movement, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, bowel movement. Is, yeah, okay. Here's the other important thing that I want to say about this. Dry Runners is going to be a moto club. It's not going to be a scooter club. It's not going to be a motorcycle club. It's going to be a moto club. If you have a thing that has two wheels and a motor, you're in, baby. Hell, you got something that's got three wheels and a motor? We'll talk about it. But definitely, if you have a scooter or a motorcycle, is what I'm trying to say here, and you want to be a part of this thing, I, I, just, I want you to, I want you to, I want you to come along, right? Let's just, I don't, let's just go for a ride. Let's, let's go have, let's go have a Budweiser 0.0. No, let's not do that. Those, the f***ing gross. Let's go have one of the 0.0 Stella Artois. Because those things are fantastic. Let's hop on our bikes, whatever they are, scooter, motorcycle. Let's go see some beautiful shit. And then, I don't know, let's go get a pizza or something, right? And maybe a soda or more non-alcoholic beers or, you know what, half a regular beer. I don't give a shit. Just as long as we understand what the intent of this whole thing is. Right? Makes sense? Dry runners, come into a city near you. Copyright... 2020, whatever the hell it is. If you're not from Portland, you might wonder why there are tiny horses chained up to telephone poles on the sidewalk. Yeah. 
Me too. Anyway, I wish everyone an awesome riding season this year. It's going to be a good one. I can feel it. Mm -hmm. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you're feeling generous, you know, hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Dude, I don't know. Just do watch one of these videos.